Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online and today I'm going to be designing multiple products on fourth wall or on Zazzle. You can also use them for Redbubble or for Society6 or for uh, Printify shops or Printful or Shopify, whatever, using Lexica and using a diagram. And I'm not going to get the design itself from these platforms and then expand it or upscale it or whatever. I'm just going to get the idea for it and then I'm going to recreate it. Obviously there are things that are easier to recreate. For example, I started this a few days ago and I'm recreating them using Canva. I took this pillow that you see here and turned it into this by simply creating this kind of pattern over on Canva. I also took this idea that I made with a diagram, created this dotted print over here, which looks like this on an actual shower curtain. So this is what I'm about to do today. There will be things that are more complex that I, I noticed that I wanna try, and I'll probably have another video with something like Procreate or Clip Studio Paint for more advanced things. But just to go over some of the things that I did, this is geometric pattern shower curtain in green colors, and if you are on a diagram, I chose the photo option. Just type in this one. I can't create more today because I reached my limit. Did anyone know they have a limit? I didn't even notice it. I tried doing some crazy pattern hoodies. Didn't really work in some of the cases. I did see like some really cool planner ideas, some mug ideas. We have a, a lot more interesting shower curtains here, some more pillows, and this one. This one looks really nice. I would love to try and actually recreate this one with Canva. So let's download this. I also really liked some of these other things. This would be fairly easy to recreate, so we can download that. The men one, I love that Ideogram kind of placed the background that matches the hoodie. We have some pillow ideas, some tote bag ideas, more tote bag ideas. This shower curtain, which is actually kind of cute, and I did a bunch of stuff over on Lexica AI. I like that I told it to put me a shower curtain. It literally did this. You'd be surprised how many people would just buy something like this, especially if you look at the rug here. Why am I just going around and I can just zoom in? This rug here goes perfectly with this. It's, it's an amazing room combination. We have these tote bags over here. I tried doing some kind of wall art, didn't work. I will definitely try to recreate some of these things using Procreate, because I don't think I can recreate them right now using Canva, even though I think this one, I think I can do this with Creative Fabric AI. They have the pattern AI, and I definitely want this hoodie. I want this hoodie. These are amazing. Pillows and more pillows and more pillows, and I've actually gone through some of them and downloaded ideas. This for a planner, for example, this for a mug for cat lovers that I did, and some other all over print hoodies. I think I actually have some more examples that I've already downloaded that I think I want to use. Let's just open all of them and decide what we're going to design today. This one should be fairly easy. These ones as well. I just don't want to make this entire tutorial to, you know, be about pillows. I just need to focus. I actually opened some tabs here. Mug, uh, all over print hoodie, pillow, uh, wall art. Let's see what I do today. Tote bag, shower curtain, and planner. I really want to try and recreate this one first, so I'm going to go to Creative Fabrica and type in dog clip art watercolors, right? Someone just bulkly uploaded specific for mouse pads. I hate it when people do that. I feel like it's like spamming the platform. I understand why people do that. They want to get more money, but I feel like it's really spamming the platform. And I'm going to try to find something cute that could fit this kind of style, this was actually a very realistic dog. Very realistic dog, and the background was some kind of paw pattern, if I remember correctly. Oh, these ones could be nice. Definitely can see that these are uh, AI made, but these are really pretty. Let's check them out. Yeah, I think this, this size would be enough. We'll see actually on Zazzle, it will tell me if this size is enough. Let's download this and go to Canva to create some kind of pattern. Custom size, 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, create a design. And I'm gonna go to elements and see if I have a dog paw. So the dog paws are in white. I'm just literally gonna try to create it. I'm sorry, they're in black. And the background is white. I'm just gonna take this. For those of you who don't know how to make patterns with Canva, this is not a full pattern with Canva tutorial, but basically you just have to split the item on both ends and then just center it with itself and it will create the pattern. I think it actually was smaller, you know what? Let's do this differently. Um, centering and centering this. 
basically cropping it into half. Let's add another page. It usually helps out. And checking both. Nice. Let's take another one. Place it cut in half. Cut in half. This is the basics of, you know, how patterns are being made. And let's take another one. Make it smaller. Place it here. This should be like a fairly all over the place kind of pattern. I'm going to take these two and bring them down. And you know what? I'm just going to put this on all edges. Like that. So it will appear everywhere. Copy paste. Uh, da, 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 da. Centered. Let's check. Yep. And let's take this one again to here. Come on. Okay. And now dog paw pattern share download JPEG. Only the first page. Done. Let's head on over to Zazzle. Not the planner. The shower curtain. Customize this design. And let me just go and place this here. And let's open our Christmas dog love clip art. Let's check it out. Okay. They said 4,000 by 4,000 pixels and 72 DPI. 300 DPI. Yeah, it's not the right file. This happens a lot. I feel like so many people just upload something that they created on, uh, on some kind of... Uh, AI? Why did I forget that word? And then they don't actually know how to check for the DPI. I think it's about time we have another DPI video. But I'm going to try it with this one and see how far I can expand it. Because Zazzle might say it's it's still good. I feel like everybody's obsessed with 300 DPI, even though it's not the case. So this one, I want to show you something with Zazzle. If I take this image and expand it too much, it's going to give me this yellow mark. It's also going to be on the layers, and it's going to tell me basically that you know, this is not going to print well. This is literally the meaning of this mark. I'm going to make it smaller until the mark goes away. And this is something that I can do. And this will be a shower curtain. I'm not saying it's the best one, but it's what I got from looking at this. Obviously, I can find a better one, but this is a really, really cool idea for a shower curtain. Now, I also remember that I wanted to do some kind of planners. Let's check out for my saved photos. Cancel. Let's close this one. We also have this planner that I saw. And where was the other one? Did I download another one? And this one. This one, I think, would be fairly easy to create. We're looking at some kind of boho flower, golden elements, something. So let's just try and do that. I'm going to go over here and create a design size for the size of a planner on Zazzle, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. You can create it slightly bigger, but I'm going to increase the size when I do um, the actual downloading. Let's do flowers. Uh, watercolor flowers in gold. Is that a thing? Graphics for print on demand. I think these are pretty. These are also pretty. Let me have a look at that photo again. Yeah, we have like pink and gold and tropical. Ooh, tropical. Maybe that will be better. Tropical? Watercolor tropical flowers. Let's delete the words in gold. I think many people just make them in gold, just don't mark them as in gold. We do have a lot of these patterns. I think these are patterns. I'm not sure it's a pattern or not because it reminds me of that hoodie. Where is that hoodie? It kind of reminds me of this hoodie, only with like dark. I don't know if this is a, a pattern or not. Photoshop ready? Uh, you can easily edit the design in Adobe Photoshop. But it's POD ready. Is that a pattern or not? Okay, let's download this. I'm really curious if it's a pattern or the actual individual flowers, you know? These are for tumblers, which I don't understand why it's directly for tumblers, but fine. Yeah, thank you. Regular clip art. And let's download this one. It looks nice. Let's go to downloads and see what this was. Hello, number nine. 
This is a JPEG pattern that is not seamless. I have no idea why what this product is doing here. 762 DPI, okay. Not high hopes for this one. Let's check out the other one. This is the bundle. Okay, amazing. Fine, finally. Let's go here, drop these puppies up. Let's have a look at the planner again. Where are you, Mr. Planner? Uh, it's a really simple one. It's just like elegant lines. Obviously, this will not create it. It's like, uh, they're too stacked, I guess, to create something like this. But, you know, I'm just getting inspired here, so I don't have to actually create the actual full thing. Like, exactly the way that it's on Ideogram or whatever. I think these ones are closest to that, even though they're a completely different style to be on this bundle. Did you guys notice that? And this, and it will say 2024. I don't think these are in the same style. This is the problem with everybody just uploading AI art everywhere. Creates bundles with different styles. It's just weird. Why did I delete that? I like this style. Let's put this up here. This one down here. And this one. All right. Okay. It's obviously not the same one. I really want to make this video with Procreate. I will get much better, much better results that I would like much better. Share, download as a JPEG. Bigger quality, no problem with bigger quality because these files would be big enough. I'm gonna go over to Zazzle, customize this design. I thought this the beginning is gonna be more interesting. I feel like this is the boring part of the tutorial, but I'm gonna get more interesting when I start making actual patterns that I like. Okay, nice. And now we just write 2024 on it. Add text. It should have some kind of um, this line that we, this text that we saw, this font. Yes, this one, I actually like this font better. Matt, it's a very simple one. I definitely don't feel like I created something that looks identical, but it's not just about creating something that is identical. It's about like getting ideas. And I feel like a lot of people forget that because a lot of people are using um, AI to create a product rather than to get inspired and get ideas. For example, this planner for 2024. By the way, Awkward Styles have planners now. I'm actually having a planner on the way to me. Hopefully it will arrive and I can make a video about it. It's the same planner as Zazzle, so it's undated. So you can feel free to sell it, not just at the beginning of the year. I do want to design a mug, an all over print hoodie, a pillow, and tote bag, and maybe a wall art. Okay, so what am I going to do? Huh, I like this mug. I feel like it's just taking a bunch of illustrations of cats. We have another planner here. I can definitely recreate this pattern of a pillow. Yeah? What do you guys think? I don't think it should be this difficult. You know what? I think I downloaded the image of it. I'm going to go to Canva on the five on the 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. And I'm going to take this pillow that I downloaded just to look at it for, you know, for now. Okay. Can I make it a reference? No, I wish I could like, put it here and like look at it as reference, but fine. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to elements and I'm going to delete this, I don't need this and I'm just gonna put a square. Oh wow, it's the same yellow. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Uh, 45 degrees angle. Yep, let's make it a bit bigger and center it. And now I'm gonna copy paste it put it here and color it in red. Oh, nice. And then here, and this will be a different kind of red, but I also have a triangle. Uh -huh. Okay. 90 degrees. Oh, this one is cute. And this will be like a different shade. Let's grab this. And this was very dark burgundy. 
very dark. And on the other end, I can actually see what's on the other end. I'm going to, I'm just going to make the same thing. And we have some pinks all over the place. We also have some uh, orange. Let's move it a little bit. Uh, let's make orange one. I'm on top of the world. Eh? No, this is not orange. Yeah. And we're just going to push this back for now. Position to back so I can see the photo. This one I'm going to leave white. Maybe take this. Oh, no. Copy paste. Take this. And I did see some pink here, but it was on top of another kind of red. So I'm going to take this triangle and put it here and then color this one in pink. This is starting to be interesting. This is such a weird print. I'm dying to see how it's going to look on a pillow. And I'm going to take another square, copy paste, put it here and color it in some kind of dirty, not dirty, but vintage pink. Okay, let's delete this one. Pattern pillow. I feel like this kind of system, this technique actually gave me like ideas for color combinations that I wouldn't have thought of. Wait, I feel like this should be on top position to front. Yep. And a bit more, maybe like this. I feel like it just gave me this new color combination that I haven't thought about. I do know a lot of artists who actually started using AI when AI was first started, like physical artists who use AI for color palettes because it is pretty cool. And I'm going to go to my all over print basic pillow design. Now this is on fourth wall. You can obviously upload this pillow to Redbubble or to Zazzle or wherever you want to do it. Uh, these are products that are also uh, pretty common uh, products in almost every print on demand supplier. Uh, and yeah, that would be the pillow. Let's place the same design on the back. You know, and actually, where am I? Let's duplicate this, select all of this, and go to design, styles, and change the entire color palette with one. This is like taking designs that I recently used, but I can also just change it to a different color palette. Of course, with heading and subheading, it's Canva. But this one is interesting, actually. For those of you who don't know, um, Printful and also Fourth Wall, because they operate with Printful, have an option to create the all over print pillow to be printed on both sides with a different print. Like you can upload a different print to each side, which is what I'm doing now. Let's delete this from the back. And upload image of this one. Oh, wow, this is so nice. Let's preview. Oh my God, this is so precious. <laughs> and this is so cool. This is so cool. It, it doesn't look exactly like the original one. Where is the original one? I keep not finding things that I need. It doesn't look exactly like the original one, but it does look really cool. It did give me like the idea and the inspiration to create this one. And this one actually looks a lot better. I really like these product ideas. Oh, wow. I like, I like this mock-up system so much. I love the mock-ups. And of course we have the place of mock-ups if you want to use, because I have used, uh, in my store for the double-sided pillows, I have used frequently place at mock-ups as well. Moving on to another product. Let's do, let's do an all over print hoodie. Come on, let's tackle this. Oh, let's tackle the all over print hoodie. And which one am I going to do it with? What am I going to try? Come on, get over here. This one I'm definitely going to do with Procreate. <laughs> you can be sure. Do we want to try, try and tackle this one? Let's see how it's made for the sides here. Hmm. Okay, let's try and tackle this one. Okay, let's go to 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. I'm going to drop in this hoodie as reference. Let's drop this in here. And first, I'm going to create something with the same color. Let's make this photo bigger. Let's grab a color of the hoodie. Oh, wow, this is so hard. Where are you? Come on. Thank you. And we have these kind of like white dots all over it, right? 
Uh, let's go with elements and go with dot. Not doits, even though doits is nice. <laughs> this one is cute. Okay, doits worked. <laughs> no fixing if it ain't broken. Let's just grab this. Duplicate it and to the other side. Now I'm copy pasting it and just deleting this. I want to see if it goes well with the all over print on the front. No, I have something more. I have the flower in the middle of it, right? So you know what? Let's uh, download this one. Dots for hoodie. Why am I naming this? This is a tutorial. Download JPEG of page number four. Download. And go to my hoodie design. Add image. Dots for hoodie. Let's see how if it stretches as well or if I need to multiply it. This is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. DPI 135. Good. I keep getting so pissed off when people are like, no, you have to use 300 DPI. That's the rule. No, it's not the rule. It's the general thing that people do when it comes to printables, but it's definitely not the rule. Let me just take it uh, like here, just for better DPI if I want to. Uh, now, with the front, we also had, we had some kind of uh, a mist on it or some kind of flowers, right? It's definitely not going to look the same. Definitely not. I'm not trying to make it look identical, but we do have these sides, right? So let's grab this color. I mean, the shoulders, see, we have the shoulder pads. I didn't drop, okay. Let's duplicate, make you go away. Download JPEG. I'm literally downloading a page with this color in it. Going back to the hoodie. File, add image. You know what? Let's try and do something like this. Smaller even. I don't know. Let's do something like this. Let's add this file again. I don't know if I'm going to create the exact same thing. Like, obviously it's not going to look like the exact same, uh, same hoodie. Okay. But I am going to take it and place it here. And then I'm going to upload one of the flowers that we just downloaded. Because it looked kind of nice that there was like a, an orange flower, right? Coming out of the pocket. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah, it was here. See? Looks really nice to have this, like, obviously it's not the same print. Not even close, I guess. But that's kind of what I like doing, just to, you know, get your jujus going. Now, we don't have the back of it, but we do have the pocket in the image. For the pocket, I'm literally just going to put that thing. This is going to cover the pocket. Don't need it to be so big. For the hood, I am going to use this. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. I don't know why this song is stuck in my head. Do not know. Let's make it smaller and pattern it. <laughs> Honestly, I could have just colored it. But fine. And we have the hood. I also want to add another flower to the hood. Mm -hmm. Let's add this one and put it in a weird position. Yeah, I'll scale it down. No worries. I'll scale it down. There we go. Let's go with the back. For the back, I am going to use that dots thing again. Make it smaller. Pattern it. What did we do with the front? Oh, let's add another image. Of another tropical flower in the back? Huh. I really think that I should make the this tutorial, but with Procreate. Okay, the DPI is good. Let's add that uh, block thing again. Make it smaller. I'm going to drop it here. Left sleeve. Let's do this. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, but it's so fun. I don't know if the hoodie is going to look like horrible or amazing. 
Let's make this one only here. Yeah. And drop another file. Dots for hoodie. That is a stupid name. I feel like I'm making this video and I don't even know how I'm going to call it because I just did a bunch of random stuff. Maybe it will be just design random stuff with me. Uh, let's duplicate this to the right sleeve and also duplicate this to the right sleeve and then I'm going to switch them. Ta-da. going to take this. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to put it here. Take this. Come on. And put you here and this I'm gonna put here. Are we ready to check out the mock-up? <gasps> Hold my hand. I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if this is cool or not. I, I'm, I, I honestly, look, it doesn't look like the original photo. Where's the original one? <laughs> it doesn't look exactly like the original one, but it is pretty. I could have also, you know, I forgot to put some flowers on the sides. But it is impressive, I have to say. And of course, you can work on it more. I feel like uh, so many people have asked because I did one design. Oh, this is inside the hood. No, never mind what I said. Let's fix it. This is here. Mockups. Because the hood was wrong. Now the hood has this on the outside. This is much better. And let's even add one. Why would I want to make... Ah, no, they want it even smaller. Okay. And smaller? No, let's upload another photo. This didn't work. This one. I think that was like the smallest one on the tropical thing. These are really small. Look, some of them is like 800 pixels. This is such a random bundle. Is anybody else feeling like all the bundles have become random? Am I like the only one working on my band bundles and actually like designing them and making them like with the same theme or something it's nuts okay this is like the outside right let's go to mock-ups yep this is on the back go back to the design right sleeve upload file add image a lot of people might not understand why you work so hard for something like this because it is a lot of work but the thing is that you create these products and then you market them. And these are things that people might pay more money for because these are incredibly unique. This is nuts. Oh, I should make an all over print hoodie store. Oh my God. Okay. We did the pillow. We did this. We did our planner. We did um, the shower curtain. Um, let's do, let's do a tote bag. Okay. You know what? Let's ask Lexica for another tote bag. Do I have another tote bag? Um, all over print tote bag with boho pattern. This one's pretty. The hoodie. These are mostly Mandela, but flowers. Okay. You know, this could be interesting to try and recreate something like this. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. And yeah, let's, okay, go with seamless flowers. Seamless pattern. Let me check the size of the tote bag. I want to make sure that I can do it correctly. Design now. 16 by 20 inches is the size of the tote bag. But the design space is going to be different. I'm just going to add a photo, just a random one, just to show you the layout that comes out from designing. This is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. That's not going to be enough. Basically opens up the bag like this. Mm, it is enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels and I'm going to download a bunch of seamless patterns. Okay. What was the photo? Something like this. Honestly, it's not even going to look like this at all. This just inspired me to do something really cool. Uh, let's do maybe flowers in line. I like these. I like these. These are dark. This could be nice. This could be nice. And the mint ones? Ooh, these are nice. Okay. I think I might be fine with just one bundle. What do you guys think? By the way, there is a link down below to Creative Fabrica for those of you who don't have it. Uh, Ideogram is free. Lexica, I think I'm paying a membership. Um, I think it's like $9 a month. These are kind of cute. Flower seamless patterns. Okay. 
downloading all three of them. Let's go to my downloads. Pink Flower Seamless, Whimsical Flowers, and Purple and Blue. Open all three. Let's open this. Yep. Okay. Grab them. Drop them on Canva. Close. Drag them. Drop them on Canva. Close. This is going to be interesting. And we have this one. Okay. You will soon see what I'm planning. Okay. Elements. Grids. Let's do a nine by nine. Like a three by three. Like a nine. To keep the seamless pattern going. Let's minimize all the spacings. And just drop this. And this is a seamless pattern. It's not. Ha! Huh. It's not an actually seamless pattern. Someone is selling it without making sure it's an actual seamless pattern. This one is. Let's make this bigger. I'm locking this with a shift. And drop these. And then drop these. No, I'm not going to drop these. You can download this like that. Let's take another one. Holding the shift key. And let's just put this on the side. Come on. You'll soon see what I'm doing, which is kind of weird now that I think about it, but it will work well. Grab all three of these. Come on, make it bigger. And now, am I overlapping this? Let's make that thing disappear. Let's copy this. Put this in here. Mm, copy this. Use these. This is going to be a really not bag. A really crazy one. Let's make this a tiny bit bigger. Now I'm going to download all of these and you'll soon understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. Yep. Download. I should make a video on how to organize your folders. Okay. Dots for hoodie. Okay. I'm opening all three of them. This is something that I can do because I have a Mac. If you can't do it because you don't have a Mac, then uh, just recreate these photos on Canva to begin with. Duplicating this, duplicating this, you'll see soon why. I'm going to open all of them. You could have also just did this on a Mac, on a, on the Canva, but I'm lazy. Like, I'm, I'm really just doing it like this. Like, literally, I've created this size, like 5,000 by 1,900. I'm basically creating smaller parts, like cropping them from these patterns that I want to use. I don't know if this is going to be the most ugly bag in the history of the world or if this is going to be brilliant. Let's do... No, just let's just take this. Mm -hmm. And this. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my all over print bag, which will be the last one I'll choose. Take this, delete it, and start dropping off designs. Let's go with one. Scale down. And place this here. File, add image. Number two, scale to fit. Place it here. File, number three. I'm on top of the world. Scale to fit. Again, 238 DPIs. Fine. Okay, so I need to make the DPI video. I also need to make how to recreate a bunch of really cool stuff that I saw on AI with Procreate. One of the things that I wanted to do with that Procreate one is to create it on Procreate, order it, and then make the video. What do you guys think? By the way, for those of you who have no idea what I'm doing right now and what is fourth wall, uh, there was a video about them. And there was also a Q&A video about them. I will leave links to those down below. I know a lot of people were interested in this platform. I know I am. And now seeing all these all over products, I really want to make a shop with that. I feel like every time I have an idea for a niche, I, I like it for a while and then I stop liking it for a while. And then I doubt myself, why did I stop liking that niche? 
Uh, but eventually, yeah, I need to I need to decide what I'm doing. Okay, let's take you up higher. Yeah, okay. Do you want to see how her our bag looks like? Oh my god. It's gonna look so weird. Oh, this is actually kind of cute. Now, mind you again, I don't think it looks ev even remotely close to the bag we looked at, which was on Lexica. Where is my Lexica? I don't think it looks remotely close to this. <laughs> like, you do know that like this is nothing like this, but this is actually a really, really cool tote bag. So we have this cool tote bag. We have this uh, cool double-sided pillow. We have ourselves a Zazzle planner and a shower curtain. And of course, the, the best thing that I feel like I did today, this hoodie. And I did them all by going on to Lexica and to a diagram and literally asking them to design products for me. Not telling them to design the print, but telling them to design the product. And from that, I'm taking the print and I'm definitely gonna try and recreate this on Procreate or this or any of these because they are brilliant and I love them so much. Uh, but I feel like with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm obsessed with this hoodie. Uh, again, uh, fulfilled by Printful and is connected to the fourth wall shop. I will leave a link to the fourth wall video somewhere on the screen here, as well as the link to the fourth wall Q&A in case you watched the first one and you didn't know that the Q&A came out. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Would love any comment down below on what you thought about this uh, cool thing if you do that. Did you think about creating uh, products with these AIs? Just a product and then recreating it yourself. And yeah, I'll probably make another one for Procreate or Clip Studio Paint. And the last thing I would say that I say in all my videos is bye.